Have you been wanting to play the new Skyblock update, but you literally can't live without your mods? Well, same here. So, here's my guide. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is install Fabric. Don't worry, all links for mods, installers, everything will be in the description. Once Fabric is installed, you're going to uh, well, open in downloads and click it there. Once it's open, you're going to want to change the version to 1.21.5, since that's what most of these mods are set for. Then you're going to want to click install. It says it's installed, and you're going to need to download this later. Don't worry, the link will also be in the description for this mod. To verify that Fabric's installed, you're going to open the Minecraft launcher, and you'll see that a new profile has been created called Fabric 1.21.5. Alright, now that's installed, you're going to go into the file explorer. Let's open a new tab here. And you're going to type in app data, app data percent, then go to Minecraft, then go to mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, all you're going to want to do is right click here, click new, name, make a new folder, then name it mods, all lowercase here, that's it, and then that's all you need. Anyways, to continue on from there. You all want to open mods, and you can see I've already installed these mods before because I had to test them out, of course. But then you're in again in the description. You're gonna click on this thread, and this thread, thread, this guy, Kel, credit to him. This don't worry, this will be in the description. Has compiled all of the Skyblock mods that have updated to 1.21.1, and I've opened the few that I really like personally, and the ones that I use. Personally, I'm gonna I'm taking Skyblocker, Firmament, Skyhanny, Skyhanny my goat. You know I love Skyhanny. Custom scoreboard because it makes it look so nice. SBA unofficial. This person's carried on the mod and actually updated it past its like due date. I didn't even know this for a while because like this made they made one like two months ago. I should actually download this for the older version. So that's out. You're gonna need Fabric API to run it and. Uh, fabric Lanyard Clothin. REI is going to help you with the NEU menu where you get to look at little items. And you're also going to need Architectural API and Cloth API. All you want to do for each mod is click download here. And then you can just click game version 1.21.5, fabric, download, boom, save. Next one, download, game version 20.5, fabric, download, save. And you're going to do that for every single mod you want to grab. Don't worry, all these mods are right here. You don't have to download all of them. Just get whatever, grab the ones you want. Personally, I download all of them, then remove the ones that had the features that I didn't really care about. Once the mods are installed here, you'll see them show up in your download history. All you have to do is drag them into that new mods folder right there, drag and drop it. And then you go back to your Minecraft launcher, you press play, you wait for it to open, give it a second. This may take a while. Quick little disclaimer here, please only download mods from trusted websites. I trust Modwinth personally and only go to official discords. Like ones with a little check mark, make sure you don't get scammed by those one-off bots that are a little suspicious. I've heard some people say recently that people are swapping over to Modwinth and trusting this over CurseForge because CurseForge has been a little suspicious recently. I haven't currently like gone into it, but just I would try to avoid CurseForge and just use official discords, use Modrinth, and go at your own volition. <laughs> Stay safe, kids. Anyways, back to the guide. And boom. That's all your mods ready to go. I can log in. Give it a second. I can log in a Skyblock. Oh, give it a second. It's a little, little freaky. I can log into Skyblock and boom, I'm on, I'm in Galatea and I have all my mods ready. You see the custom UI in game, you can see the custom scoreboard right here, you can see the RPG HUD, I can move this around wherever I want, you know, um, what's called, I've got the recipes, I can press U on something to see its usages, and that's about it. Thanks for watching and good luck on your forging ventures. Bye!